Hello folks. So this year, even though we've had a lot of clouds, um, I, I've still been able to accomplish, I feel, a lot. Um, I've been trying to mix it up. I've captured a comet this year so far, a planet, nebulas, a galaxy, and now I want to image the sun. But uh, I can't do it today because it's kind of a, a gloomy gray day. But it's going to be sunny, I think, all day tomorrow. So. Um, I don't want any surprises tomorrow. I want to make sure this setup is ready to go because it's been a long time since I've done solar imaging. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to be using this refractor. It's my Explorer Scientific AR-102. And uh, I used it a lot last year and it, it works really well. It gets me in really close to the sun along with my, my Daystar Quark. And what the Quark is going to do for me the quark will remove all of that blinding brightness from the sun and let me actually see the surface of the sun. It's really cool so I don't need any filter on the front of my scope as long as I have the quark. But the quark is still not enough because since my objective lens is over 80 mm, I still need more protection. And so I have an energy rejection filter attached to the front of my quark so that my camera doesn't fry. So that's a little bit of extra protection um, needed there. And plus it will give me more contrast. And let me, you know, it's been so long. Let me see if that, that filter is still on here. So I'm gonna remove the quark if I, if I can. This way. Let's see here. Ah, okay, so here's my camera, here's my quark, and here is an astronomic L1 UV IR filter that will act as an energy rejection filter and prevent my camera from frying. So, um, yeah, so I pulled this setup out and I want to make sure it's ready to go for tomorrow. So I'm going to test out my connections for the USB and just make sure it's all ready to go. I'm going to I have a USB hub and all that needs to be hooked up on the hub is my my mount and my camera so that I control I can control it from inside the house with my 20 millimeter um, line my USB line that will go right into my house so we'll see if this works okay it is a sunny day as expected and I have set up my rig and uh, last night I tested to make sure all my USB connections are working. And I wanted to show you, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you image the sun without going blind? And I, and I tell them, well, I never actually have to look at the sun because my solar finder is, uh, is lined up perfectly with my telescope. So all I have to do is use my hand controller and line up that dot in the crosshairs. That dot is the sun. And as long as it's perfectly lined up with my telescope, which it is, I never have to look at the sun except uh, through my computer screen. All right, so uh, I think I'm still in the trees. I'm gonna wait a little while, but then we'll go back inside and, and check out what I'm capturing. Okay, so I am pointing at the sun. How do you like that? Now I can only see a small portion of the sun um, because I, with my refractor, um, it gets me in really close. I have that solar scout if I want to hold this, but I'm not going to be using that today. And I wish there were some activity on the sun. It would be really cool to, to, to pick something up, but I'll see what I can do with this. Um, now to, to move around the sun, I control uh, my mount. What I did is I just opened up Sequence Generator Pro and said connect to my AVX mount. Just one button click and then I just open up the control panel and use these arrows to control my mount. So I can scan all around the sun. And you can see when I do that, it's it's more obvious. I have some blemishes in my imaging train, but I can fix those with flats. I can tell there's a spot there, a spot there, one way over on the left. But this is a lot of fun. I'm not going to spend too much time on the sun though today because I think it's going to be clear tonight. And I don't want to burn out all my energy playing with the sun during the day and then imaging at night. So I'll probably just get a, a few quick pictures off and we'll see how this goes. 
So let me see. Now, if I were looking for activity on the rim, like some plasma storms, um, what I would do is, uh, here, let's see if we can keep the sun steady here. I'm not polar aligned, by the way. I, I just took my best guess at polar alignment, but the tracking seems to be doing pretty good. If I were looking for activity on the rim, I would turn my exposure up. You know, oh, you can see right there, it, If I, it's really faint, but you can see there's some activity going above the rim there. But I really have to turn up the exposure to see it. But I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, I just want to capture the surface today. And uh, let's, 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 I don't know. I might still be in the trees, by the way, because I can see something going on there. Yeah, I can see some waves. You see that darkness? That's, I'm still in the trees. So I'm going to wait a little bit. And, uh, and I can see when the, it, it affects my focus too. So I thought I was past the trees, but there must be some longer branches. Okay, it looks like the focus is pretty good there. Now how I control the focus is I'm using a Rigel focuser and it doesn't seem to work on my desktop, but it works on my laptop. Go figure. So what I do is I connect it to my laptop and I, I remote into my, my laptop and watch. You can see I'm um, going to take myself in and out of focus. You can see how it's, I'm going, I'm going in right now. You can see I just lost focus on the sun or I can keep this button press and go back out. And now it looks like I'm pretty close to focus again. So... Anyway, if there were some activity going on with this, then this would be more interesting. But uh, I think I'm just going to, well, I'm not going to record some videos. I, what I would do to record videos, I would probably just say, uh, record um, a 10 second video um, sequence length. I'd probably record 10 of them and interval in between 10 seconds. And then I would just hit start. Like you saw me do with um, Venus uh, maybe a week or two ago. So... I guess I'm just gonna have to wait because I don't I don't I don't want to record with the are the branches gone? Hmm. It looks like I'm out of focus now. Oh that's better. Much better. Well I'm gonna record this right now then. Hmm. How about that? That that I'll probably record a bunch of different angles. Uh, let's see. I'll go. Uh, I'll record three at, at, on this side, and hit start. And uh, that's all I got for now, folks. I'm gonna wrap this up, and uh, I hope it turns out. And I will see you guys later. And I hope it stays clear because I want to do some deep sky imaging tonight. And I'll see you later. make a sound. Hello folks. So yeah. So we'll see if this works. And uh, we'll, we'll see if it works. Without the quark my equipment would fry. You, you need the quark. With the quark I mean Now, tomorrow, I'm going to be using my Explorer. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to use, and I don't care. I can.